Your offer has been accepted and your mortgage is being processed. It's not time to take a break yet. Hey, South Florida, it's your realtor, Julio Gonzalez. In this installment of my Getting Ready to Buy a Home series, we'll talk about the due diligence phase of completing your home purchase. In the offer presented to the seller, you likely included a due diligence period during which several things will take place. Due diligence is defined as the reasonable steps taken by a person in order to satisfy a legal requirement, especially in buying or selling something. The seller may have disclosed in the listing that there was a roof leak or some other issue. The due diligence period is your opportunity to go digging to find out more, but you have a limited time to work with. In the due diligence period, it's your opportunity to do inspections. You will want to do a complete full home inspection where a subject matter expert goes in and checks lights, water heaters, air conditioners, the electrical panel, appliances, and much more. Some inspectors can check more items than others, so it's important to get the right inspector and supplement with other more specialized inspectors. For instance, pest inspections for things like termites are often done by a pest control company. And if the property has a septic tank or the possibility of cast iron pipes, you may want to do an extra inspection for those. These inspectors will all provide you with a report of their findings, typically including photos of each item. The inspector may also provide an estimate of value to repair or remediate the issue found. Please understand that because an inspection finds something deficient, that does not mean the seller must do anything about it. Every real estate sales contract in Florida is an as-is contract, so from the beginning, you're agreeing to buy the property in the condition that it's in. This is not to say you cannot negotiate repairs. If the electrical panel is found to be deficient, you may not be able to get a loan, so that's something that would need to be negotiated. Alternately, you may want to negotiate the replacement of that same electrical panel regardless of the loan, and the seller may concede the cost or a portion to make sure the sale goes through. When we sold our last home, there were a number of items that came up in the inspection. The buyer wanted several thousand dollars for the repairs, and the deal was in jeopardy. We agreed to split the difference as we wanted to complete our move, and the buyer didn't want to lose out on the home. What is often not clear, even to realtors, is that during the due diligence period, you can cancel the purchase contract for any reason. You changed your mind? Cancel the contract. It was a cloudy day when you saw the house, and now you realize it's the neighbor's trees that keep the house shaded, Regardless of cloud cover, cancel the contract. This is something I learned from a real estate attorney, and while I don't encourage going into a contract willy-nilly because you know you can get out, this is the law. Talk to your attorney for confirmation on this, though. Make sure you complete your due diligence before the deadline, as that date will determine your ability to address anything found and exit the agreement if significant enough. Next time, we're going to talk about the most exciting part prior to moving in, closing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my social media and blog by clicking the link in my bio. Thanks and enjoy the sunshine.